I'm going to present the hardware software co-design flow um, integrated within the LLVM, um, including a simple LLVM VHDL backend. Um, here's the structure of the talk. First, I'm going to present some points, I hope, which make the uh, understanding of the whole uh, problem description a little, little bit more better. Then I'm going to detail the hardware and um, I'm going to give some s small results and a conclusion. Mm. Okay, um, the setting of this work, it's part of a larger work and this part is um, has been created because I want to test the bus interface, uh, the memory extraction and, and stuff I'm going to present. And um, the larger scope of this work is to create a computing environment where I can dynam dynamically switch between hardware and software. But this is only the big picture. I'm going to focus on the stuff pretty much related to the LLVM. So why have I been using the LLVM framework? Um, one big plus is to have a common algorithm description, the LLVM IR. Um, LLVM has a nice or a good number of optimizations which can also or probably be used for hardware usage. Um, yeah, and LLVM proved to be pretty powerful and easy extensible. So um, the talk will be structured um, according to the design flow used uh, using the LLVM and all the t parts included. So the first step which is being done is um, feeding uh, some input algorithm through the LLVM GCC front end. <coughs> After that, um, the standard optimizations available to the LLVM framework are applied to the input algorithm. And then um, the next step is um, the binning pass. The binning pass is a simple pass which decides if um, the algorithm or the basic blocks looked at are uh, to be executed in software or in hardware. Um, next step, um, the LLVM intermediate representation will be stored on disk. Um, this is um, needed because after that I'm going to create software and hardware out of this common description and since I have two backends and LLVM that doesn't provide an infrastructure to write out the data from, from one uh, intermediate representation um, I choose to store it over there. Um, okay, next step is a filter pass. This filter pass uses the information from the binning pass to insert um, so-called migration instructions, intrinsics. Um, I will talk a little bit more about these migration instructions later on. Um, I'll continue with, it. oops, with the software side. The software side um, uses the, oh, I forgot one thing. The filter pass has a command line argument and it can tell the filter pass if it should filter for software or for hardware design flow usage. So if I'm on the software part, of software side, the filter pass has been instructed to filter out all the hardware, all the blocks which are to be run on the hardware. Mm. Okay, the, after filtering 
the PowerPC backend is run, um, the PowerPC backend has been extended to know about uh, the migration intrinsics, and then we have the linking step, and um, yeah, pretty much a standard software design flow. Mm. The hardware part itself is generated utilizing the VHDL backend. Um, it's based on the LLVM basic blocks, and the output of the VHDL backend is put into the standard synthesis. <coughs> sorry, standard synthesis run of the Xilinx toolchain, which is uh, the synthesis creates a hardware description or a netlist out of the VHDL description and the netlist is then combined with the software part and then a complete bitstream is created out of both parts. Can I ask a question? Probably, I think we have the policy to ask the questions at the end, if you can wait as long. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, one thing which I think is pretty important uh, are the immigration points or migration intrinsics. Um, these migrations um, define implicitly the interface between hardware and software. So um, they have, they also keep the data flow defined and they, oops, okay. Um, yeah. The migration instructions itself are um, inserted mutually exclusive. So if I'm doing a um, software side run, for example, uh, the instructions on the for the blocks which are to be implemented in the hardware side are replaced by uh, migrate begin and migrate end instructions which is, oops, this should be migrate end instruction. Um, yes, and the, okay, um, the, the whole project is implemented on the Xilinx University Program Board. It has a medium-sized FPGA, uh, including two power PCs, on board and some memory and